Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One more thing I wanted to say is please be careful of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. I will never send you a phone number for you to reach out to me or contact me, so if you receive a message from someone with a phone number, please be aware those are scammers, that is not me, so please be careful. All right, Cancer, let's take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you. Spirit angels and guides, please show me what are Cancer's person current feelings for Cancer. Thank you, Spirit. oh okay so we have the seven of wands you might be dealing with a fire sign aries sagittarius or leo hmm. not sure what to say about that let me see what else tell me more spirit All right, so we have the Judgment card. It could be a Scorpio or an Aquarius you're dealing with, the Tower, and the Three of Pentacles. So Cancer, this is someone who wants to fight for you. They want to fight to save this relationship. It looks like this relationship is falling apart with the tower. Or it has already fallen apart, but this person wants to <clears throat> resurrect this relationship with you. It's almost like they refuse to lose the thing the thing that matters the most to them in the, in their life right now which is their relationship with you the person they refuse to lose the person who matters the most to them which is you Now, this person might say that, you know, you're the person who they most care about or, you know, you're what's most important to them, but they might not have always shown that. They might not have always um, demonstrated that to you. You might feel like this person has contradicted themselves many times. You might feel like this person has been, you know, like two-faced, I want to say, for some reasons. They, they show you one thing, but then they do something completely different. Yeah, for some reason I get that. Like, you might feel like this person is is someone who has 
double personality, you know? And you might feel like this person might go from one extreme to, to another extreme um, frequently, <clears throat> sorry, frequently. And you never know what side of them you're going to get, which side of them you're going to get. This is someone who neglected you. Mm -hmm. They neglected you or in some way they, they undervalued you. But they want they want to change things with you now. They want to, they want to turn things around with, with you. They want to communicate. They want to cooperate with you. They want to work together with you. They want to find the solution to whatever it is that caused you to, to fall apart or to separate. They want to talk about how to fix things and how to how to recover balance and harmony and stability um, in this relationship with you. <clears throat> this is more channeled, to be honest. I'm kind of channeling these messages. <clears throat> Let me clarify now, okay? Let's start with Seven of Wands, Spirit. What's going on with the Seven of Wands? <clears throat> So we have the King of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Um, let me get one more for the Seven of Wands. The Five of Swords. Yeah, so this might have been someone who walked away from you in the past because of some sort of disagreement or argument that you two had instead of instead of sticking with you and finding a way to resolve things with you they decided to just walk away and abandon the, the relationship the king of pentacles can be materialistic some of you might feel like this person um cared more about material things than they did about you. Yeah, that's why I said, I feel like this person might claim that, you know, you're the most important thing to them. Or like, that's the energy. Yeah, that's the energy. I, well, that's the energy I'm getting from them. But I feel like they don't actually demonstrate that. They don't actually prove that with, with their actions. Hmm. Tell me about judgment spirit. <clears throat> Well, 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 look at that. Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely someone who wants to come towards you to fix things with you, to, to have a reconciliation with you, to apologize, to apologize to you, to save the relationship with you, like I said. They changed their mind, you know, they changed their mind about how they want to behave with you.
Because I feel like this is someone who had decided to not deal with you anymore. In a, in a moment of frustration or anger, they made the decision they didn't want to deal with you anymore. They wanted... They didn't want anything to do with you anymore. They just wanted to stay away. And not think about you anymore. You know, kind of like a spiteful energy coming from them. But here with the judgment card, they've they've completely changed their mind now. You know, now now that They've cooled down and they're seeing things more clearly. They realize that they don't want to be without you. They, don't, they realize that it's not worth it. It's not worth it to be without you. You're too valuable. You're, you're, you, you bring too much to the table. So here they are in an energy of regret and um, feeling, feeling like a fool. What's the tower card? Oh boy, yeah, again, King of Cups and the Page of Cups. So again, with the Tower card, it's like this person has received some kind of wake-up call, some kind of rude awakening. They thought they were going to be fine without you. They thought they could move on easily with their life. And, and that's just not how it worked out. You know, I feel like this person didn't expect to be hit with loneliness, the, the energy of loneliness, as, as bad as they were hit. So they're, they're missing you, Cancer, with the Page of Cups. This is someone who misses you. They miss your, your attention. They miss your comfort, they, they miss your loving energy, your loving nature. And they've, they've figured out that they're a lot more dependent on you than they thought they were. So with the Three of Pentacles, here they are wanting to repair, repair things with you and wanting to communicate with you and make things right with you and reestablish that that connection with you okay let's take a look at what are your current feelings for this person spirit angels and guys how does cancer currently feel about whoever they're dealing with here in love thank you spirit Wow, okay, so we have the world, we have the Knight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and we have the Devil. All right, so you're not really sure if you're willing to let this person back into your life or not, Cancer. Um, I feel like you've experienced a lot of toxic energy from this person with the Devil card. You've experienced a lot of ups and downs with this person. And you feel like it's not fair for this person to just 
try to come back into your life as if nothing happened, you know? You know, you don't, you feel like it's not fair for them to just, you know, easily be able to get to, 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 sorry, it's not fair for them to just easily be able to return back into your life. Especially if you feel like they put you through, you know, um, some very painful experiences or they made you go through a lot of painful emotions or they put you on an uh, on an emotional roller coaster or if they were mean to you you know if they were mean if they were harsh if they were like um judgmental or critical You feel like it shouldn't be easy for them to just come back into your life. And like I said, I feel like you're not really sure that you want them anymore. I mean, the two of pentacles, you are kind of like evaluating things here. But I feel like you're more leaning towards the energy of closing the door on this person and, and never looking back, you know? It's like closing the door and throwing away the key. <laughs> that type of energy. <laughs> Because I, I do feel like you've you've had enough with this person. You've you've had enough of their of their disrespect of their disrespectful nature towards you or disrespectful actions towards you. You know, you've had enough. You've you're a cancer, right? So cancers are very um soft you know they can be very soft-hearted and you might you, you might have given this person multiple chances but they ki they keep doing the same thing and it's like you're in this energy of when is when is enough enough with the two of pentacles It's a it's an ongoing cycle. And you're starting to feel like this person is manipulating you. This person is manipulating you. They're they're breadcrumbing you. They're stringing you along. All right, tell me about the two of pentacles, spirit. Yeah, we have the Justice card and we have the Ten of Swords. So, you know, as you're in this process of evaluation, you know, you're thinking about everything you already went through in the past. And with the Justice card, I feel like you're having a hard time finding more positives than negatives to this person. In reality, when, when you look at the facts, you might feel like this person takes away from you more than they give to you. Or like this person has a lot more negative um, attributes than they do have positive attributes. And you're looking for, for fairness and equality. 
you're looking for someone who who knows how to respect you and treat you with fairness and justice and consideration and you just feel like this person has has given you all the evidence that you need to make the decision to block this person and and lock them out of your life, you know, with the world card and and never look back. Yeah. I do feel like, you know, it's this person does represent a temptation for you, Cancer, with a devil card. I, I think that's what makes things what makes things hard for you when it comes to this person. It's like they do represent a temptation. They are they might be very good at, with their words or they might have, you know, the ability to be very persuasive or convincing. But I feel like you you're now you're starting to become immune to to the effect that they used to have on you. Immune to their energy. And I feel like this person can no longer influence you in the same way that they used to. And I feel like you're 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 becoming a lot stronger or you've become a lot stronger. And I feel like, honestly, you're not going to give this person a second chance. I feel like you're, you're going to end this cycle or like, or slowly end this cycle with, with them. Because the, the facts don't lie, you know, with the two of pentacles, it's like, there's too many there's there's too much evidence you know stacked up against this person and you can't unsee what you've already seen all right let's see what this person wants to say to you cancer with the hidden truth oracle deck let's see spirit what does this person want to say to cancer please show me It says, I lost myself for a little while. I lost myself for a little while. It says, I hid who I really am from you. I hid who I really am from you. yeah but the thing is that unfortunately i think it's too late for this person is what i'm getting looking at your energy cancer i feel like um, this person's ships have sailed so they're definitely feeling regret here they're definitely feeling like you know why did i do that you know I feel like that's what they're saying, you know, why did I do that? Why did I act that way? You know, what what got into me? Why do I keep why do I keep repeating the same mistakes, you know? I do feel like they are kind of becoming more self-aware here. But like I said, I feel like something just went too far here and I feel like you're in this energy of not 
not being interested anymore, you know? Almost like you, you've outgrown this person, you know? All right, Cancer, so I hope this helped you in some way and I hope it resonated. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.